message for uh, Roussel early there? Uh, yeah, we're just playing hockey. You know, he plays hard the same way. Just things happen out there and just happen to get in the scrap. I mean, you know, he made, I guess it was the infraction with Steen. Any, just anything where you wanted to send a uh, message there? Or? Like I said, we're just playing hard. Um, I always want to stand up for teammates in any case. Um, you know, he plays the game hard. I play the game hard. These things happen, you know. It's just a fight. Dallas came, it seemed like, with a lot of speed, a lot of intensity tonight. You think uh, some of these guys uh, trying to make an impression on this team uh, got a pretty good lesson tonight? Yeah, um, they had a lot of a lot of zip out there. You know, they played a high energy NHL team game tonight. Um, collectively as a group, they had more jump from the get-go than we did, and uh, you know, that's gonna make you pay at the end of the day. These two games with Dallas so far, a lot of a lot of penalties on both sides, a lot of special teams play. Is that uh, something about the way you two teams are matching up that's causing this, or uh... you know, I think you see the same throughout the league. Um, the league's doing what they can to, to enforce the, the rules. And uh, you know, it just so happened to be that we played the same team twice. And there were some penalties. And you know, that's sports. That's the new rule. So that's the way it's going to be, I think. What do you take out of a game like this? Uh, I don't know. Obviously, what we got to do better. Um, I didn't think we kind of brought what uh, what's needed to win, obviously, as you can see. So um, we just got to make sure that we, we take it for what it is. And, um, we flip the page as fast as possible and understand that we we got to be better. Cool. There's guys obviously trying to fight for jobs on this team, trying to get on this team. Uh, you think that the lineup Dallas brought out there tonight, uh, you know, gave some of these guys a, a pretty valuable lesson of what life in the NHL is all about? Yeah, they have a tough team. They they played hard, um, but uh, we have a lot of good good players out here. I just didn't think, I don't know, it just didn't seem like we had a bunch of mojo, I guess. And um, it's best that it's preseason and. Um, I think it's best that we can take take our lesson learned right now and um, just focus on tomorrow now and make sure that we, we come to the rink and uh, we got a game tomorrow and make sure we're ready for that one because um, we want to make sure that we continue to take steps forward and um, that's that's what we have to do at right now. Some of the things that we heard not ready to play tonight uh, just didn't have a lot of jump. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly what I would see. Um, I think that. Uh, we came out with some intensity right off the hop, first shift, and then it dropped very quickly from there. Obviously, they got the early power play goal, but uh, for me, what was disappointing through the night was the turnovers that we had. Uh, I felt, really felt that uh, any time we even tried to come close to, to try to get any in a momentum, we, the turnovers at the blue line, um, you know, the, 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 the way that we executed through the neutral zone and, um, and just the, the way that we just gave pucks away um, just uh, made it impossible for us tonight. I mean, it seemed like they had no flow. That's exactly, that's that's why. You know, any time we, I mean, it just felt like we backtracked all night long. We, as soon as we got to their blue line, we were trying to make plays that weren't there. We were trying to make soft plays, and uh, and that's a bad recipe. Power plays you got, you got. And, well, that, that for me, that uh, that mirrored the rest of our game. Too cute, too uh, too soft in our game. Uh, too soft with the puck and uh, and too easily separated from it. Um, obviously, it's tough to score if you don't have the puck, and it didn't feel like even most of those power plays that we had, that we had good zone possession, that we had good zone time, um, and obviously not a lot of looks if that's the case. No, no, it's definitely not by design. I mean, I think teams recognize that he's got a big bomb. That's a team that pressures, um, and so if he has an opportunity, he's going to shoot it, but... I mean, obviously, you can't shoot if somebody's right in your face, so that's what he's trying to recognize when those opportunities are there. But uh, with that shot, he's got the green light every time. Michael, they brought a number of guys, Benny Torx, Benny, who played with a lot of speed. Yeah. Cassidy, yeah. Of your younger guys. Got pretty valuable well, I think, I think part of the lesson is that, uh, you know, a lot of guys played last night, and the schedule's been tough. Uh, the lesson is that, that that can't be an excuse, and you have to be able to deal with that. And you have to find a way to come to play, and you have to find a way to – to have your legs, and you also have to manage the game a little bit better. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's an easier game to play when you have the puck, and it's a tougher game to play when you're chasing. And um, you know, you, I thought the face-offs we weren't sharp on. I thought that 50-50 pucks we weren't sharp on. But again, um, there was just way too many. They, I mean, they they managed the puck through the neutral zone way better than we did tonight, and that was the difference in the hockey game. That's why they got the long shifts in our zone. 
Um, that forced us to change at bad times. That forced us to come onto the ice and spend more time in our own zone. And and um, so that's that for me is the lesson there. I haven't got word yet, but obviously he got a pretty nasty gash there, so we'll, we'll, we'll find out more later. You just said you guys felt pretty early. Fortuzo's thing was what it was. Clem kind of gets challenged and stands up for itself. Yeah. How do you balance the need to stand up for a team with it being the preseason and not one being dangerous? But uh, sorry, and so, sorry. What? The balance between being willing to engage in those, in those kind of physical battles with it's a preseason game, maybe let's not put ourselves in additional Oh, well, I, I don't, I mean, through the history of time, you're not going to find one coach that says go easy into a game. It's, uh, that's, I mean, I, I don't think that's how you prepare. So, uh, obviously, you want to be smart, and um, and we're not asking anybody to run around um, and, and be foolish out there. And, uh, you know, we want to play the game. That's that's the idea. But to, uh, yeah, we, we're not going to tell anybody not to play hard, that's for sure. Mike, did you want to, I mean, when you talk about back to backs, did you want to test some of these guys to see? Yeah, how they that's part. Of, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, well, we, well, we also don't want to play guys that we don't think have a chance of making our team. So you know, we we want to give them the opportunity, um, and uh, it's a tough challenge with the back to back. But um, you know, they're going to face it too. Dallas is going to face it. They're going to play back to backs. All teams are going to play back to backs. That's that's life in the NHL, and you have to show that uh, that you can play well when you're you know when 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 everything's going well, but. Um, you also have to show that uh, that you can perform when, when the conditions aren't exactly perfect. For the, for the younger players, I mean, Ed Wild played so well last night. Mm -hmm. and I, is there a lesson about how you need to bring it every, every night? There is a huge lesson in that, yep. And how you prepare. You know, you can't get feeling too good about the game that you had the night before. And, uh, you know, those those are the things that – those are the lessons. And, uh, you know, again, it's, it's disappointing. But, uh, you know, we weren't ready to put anybody on our team after last night, and we're not ready to cut anybody – uh, just because of this performance, we're, we're still looking at the camp as a whole, and we're still looking for progress from from guys, and that's that's our focus. You didn't play much in the second period. It was okay. Yeah. Did you wait till Monday before you start the this year. Yeah, yeah, I would I would think so. Yeah, yeah. Let's get through the weekend here, and then you know, see what happens there.